completely opposite. Like when you know when they say opposites attract, that is us. Because when I'm cold, he's hot. hot. When I'm hot, he's cold. Hot. With, hot. With, with the exception of this. Hot. What? Hot. Hot. Okay. Hot. I am Shalanda Samwa, and we are the Samwa Dynasty. Completely opposite. Like when you know when they say opposites attract, that is us. Because when I'm cold, he's hot. hot. When I'm hot, he's cold. Hot. With, hot. With, with the exception of this. Hot. What? Hot. Hot. Okay. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an extrovert, I'm an ambivert, I can do be both. He's an introvert, like he doesn't talk or whatever. I'm very, but you know, you're sociable when you're on the football field. Or when you're playing with people, yeah. But you're not social like out, unless you know those people, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, I eat like a lot one at time, one time yeah. and I eat fast. He mm. eats slow and, peace, peace. and he eats like little, he eats throughout the day, like all day. Even if not like a rat, you hear something in the kitchen, like moving. <laughs> That's him eating three o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. And this is how I gain weight with him cooking breakfast at three o'clock. That would not happen. I would not get fat with him cooking at three o'clock in the morning and eat breakfast and going to sleep. It's not gonna happen. No, we work out, breakfast, and sleep. <laughs> so we still lose weight. What makes our relationship special is that, or different, I didn't like him when I met him. Like he came and kind of like messed with me, bothered me. And I think what made me not like him because he didn't have no money on him when I met him. He stayed his money in his country. So he couldn't buy me nothing. So I told him he wasn't going to see me no more. No, but I told you. Yes. Yeah. No, I so, but, I, but I still wanted to have a good time. So I was like, come. I don't know nobody here that's have a good time. Yeah, went to club and stuff. And <laughs> yeah. Then, what happened? Say me. I thought, okay, we just meet today. Maybe I'll not see you again, so I also forget you. He forgot me. Yeah, same. Yeah. Same way he told me that, okay. I, yeah, he's like, I just, he said, I just drunk this girl looker and smoked her hookah for free. So yeah, we, so we just talked on the phone or whatever, whatnot. And then, for you know it, I was like quitting my job, selling everything that I own, car, everything. And I just uprooted my oh, life. Met in Thailand first. Okay. Yeah. But I'm just saying what makes our relationship unique or whatever. Oh, yeah. So the second time I ever met him, we went on a date. He took me on a date. And my date was a two-week vacation in Thailand. I think that's cool. Yeah, like, like why would you do that? Why would you, like, take a stranger on a vacation that you never met? I never been in vacation before that time. So okay, so you, like, like you were just experimenting. Yes. Just... You were like, oh, okay, let me go with this girl somewhere. And I was, yeah, I was like, Discount tickets, yeah. Yeah, you had discount tickets. Yeah, I paid for my own plane ticket. He paid for his ticket. He knew somebody to work for Emirates or whatever. But then he paid for like all our accommodations, our food, our activities, and all that. And at that time, I decided to buy it's my last time to stay there. So that was kind of like, so that was kind of like your farewell party. Yeah, it's part, yeah, it's like, so yeah, this farewell party with me. Okay. And your birthday, so. And my birthday. I quit my job. And I came and moved with you. And we I didn't move to your country. You didn't move my country. Yeah. We went to a total different yeah. country. And went away. Yeah, I think that, that thing helped too. It helped us? Yes, of course. So you don't think it would have been better if I, you stayed in the US or no, no, I stayed no. in Ghana? Yes. It told me better. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Those people they want to marry for and they have to do that. He said, if, he said, if you want to marry, you got to go to another country, different country from your spouse. Yeah, and y'all go America, learn. Yeah. yeah. Go start over somewhere else. I think you being a footballer, because you don't go to work like everybody else. Like, people work eight-hour job. So, literally, I, we saw each other like 24 hours a day. So, we really got to know each other. You know what I mean? Like, everything. I mean, this hand right here, I'm holding this hand. So we got to see each other like every day. 
Yeah, yeah he would training in the morning and training in the evening. And then he'd be at home. I'll be at home. <laughs> Unless I was traveling. Not like every ordinary relationship where both people got a job and they go to work and they only see each other in the evenings. Mm -hmm. You know, before you go to work and on the weekend, we saw each other every day. Okay, what else makes us unique today? Okay, we have a common goal is my happiness. Our common goal, that's one thing we have in common, is my happiness. Am I not right about that? And what is, what's going to make me happy? What's gonna make me happy? What's make you happy? Yes. But what's the one thing that's gonna make me happy? Yeah. You read to make you happy. You read to make you happy. You already. But how can you make me happy? I know. And the first, if she was liking the way I cook too. Like my food. Oh yeah, I love this food. But I want you to skip this question. How can you make me happy? How I make you happy? Yes. What's, what is it that I need to be? <laughs> you, uh, you tell me my, many things I need to make you up. You even tell me even when I read, make you up. Oh, yeah, well, he reads make me happy. Yeah, I love when he reads because he don't you read. See? But what is, our I believe in God. what is our life goal for me? What you do don't you know mean? this. You don't know the life goal we have for me. What's to make you rich house? Yeah! He was married in a two-parent household. My mom was a widow, and then she got three baby daddies. His mama got the same daddy, baby daddy for all her children. But we were raised in religious household, like Christian household, and I think that's kind of what makes us different. Is that our religious like upbringing? Even though my husband does not adhere to it, I do. Like my husband is like a heathen, and I'm the good Christian lady. That's not true, babe. So uh, this is just a little introduction of our personalities and who we are as the Samoan Dynasty. Kalas. Kalas. Okay. Bye.